Sober Girls Yoga by the Mindful Life Practice. Hi, yogis, and welcome to Release. This is an eight series that I've been working on for you designed to help you let go of anything that's no longer serving you. In this series, we're going to move through the flow and let go style of yoga, which involves moving through more dynamic vinyasa style postures for the first half and then ending with more restorative and yin style postures for the second half. The intention of this is to really deep into the tissues and the ligaments and release all of the tension that we're holding there so we're no longer stuck. For this series, I invite you to have a strap nearby or anything like a t-shirt, anything that you can use, some yoga blocks, two yoga blocks would be great, or thick books, and a bolster or some kind of cushion to support you. So we're going to start this practice today in a comfortable seated shape. You're going to lengthen through the spine and soften the shoulders. Take deep breaths in and out. As you breathe in and out, just do a little body scan. Noticing what is going on with you today. Noticing what you're carrying with you into today's practice. If you want to explore a mudra or a hand gesture with me, I want to teach you a mudra for letting go. And what we're going to do is bring our palms together at heart center in Anjali Mudra, and then keep the index finger pointing up, keep the thumb pointing up, but wrap all the rest of the fingers around each other. And then what you're going to do is take this mudra now and then pivot it down so that it's pointing down towards your pelvis and your feet. And now with your hands in this mudra, I invite you to think about what does letting go mean to you? This letting go mudra is a really powerful opportunity for us to release everything that we're holding on to, everything that's no longer serving us. So just let all that stuff empty, 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 clear, clear, clear. Once you move through that process of letting go, I invite you to release this mudra and allow your palms to line face up on your knees. And the reason why they are face up is because I want to invite you to receive. Receive some energy from that process of letting go. I want to invite you to do a little bit of flowing with the breath. So you can flicker the eyes open, take a big breath, reach your arms up towards the sky, and then exhale your palms to heart center. And let's do this two more times going with our breath.
Now, after your next one, let's lift the arms up towards the sky. And then we are going to land our right palm beside the right side body. Lift the left arm over to the right. And now you're going to move with the breath, so spiraling forward, landing your left palm, reaching the right arm up. And then moving all the way through center, going the opposite way. So keep going like this. Really channeling into this energy of flowing like water. So maybe you can picture rain or oceans or rivers or any water that you've been around in your life and try to channel this flowing fluid energy. We'll just do three more. Two more. And then a last one. And then take an inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And then we'll move with the breath. Coming into a twist now. Let's just do three more. Two more. And then a last one. And then you're going to lift both of your arms all the way up. Gather the palms at the heart center and then come onto the hands and the knees. So you can land the palms onto the mat, knees underneath the hips, and then just move with your breath again, rippling the heart forward, and then curling through the spine. Now let's just do two more. And then a last one. And then come all the way into a neutral. Allow your toes to touch and just sit the hips back, rest the forehead. This is your child's pose. This is your balasana. Now just take one more round of breath and then lift all the way up through a tabletop and tuck the toes and come all the way up and back to an Adho Mukha Savasana, a downward facing dog. And you can step the feet in and just stretch out through the back of the legs. Maybe give your head a little rock no and then give your head a little rock yes. And then eventually, just bend your knees, gaze forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, find a forward fold, dangle here. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Take your exhale, fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. And gather your palms at heart center. So we're going to warm up the body with three half Surya Namaskar right now, just moving through the forward fold, just linking with the breath. So take an inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, and then take an exhale, forward fold. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Take your exhale, lower. And then inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And then exhale your palms at heart center. 
Do this two more times. Last one. Now this time after you fold, you're going to stay there, hang out there for a few breaths. Letting your body just kind of dangle and release. And now what we're going to do is leave our right foot exactly where it is and take a big step back with your left foot. So you're coming into a runner's lunge. Fingertips can land on the mat and you can just rock your body back and forth. And then eventually come all the way into a neutral and just land your left knee on the mat. This is going to lead you into Anjani Asana low lunge. So I want to give you some options here. If your kneecap is quite sensitive, you could roll your mat over and place your knee on the mat. That works as well. Or even just pause and get a little cushion to support yourself. You just want to make sure you're really comfortable. We're going to lift our arms up towards the sky. So Anjani Asana, low lunge. This is a shape that can be really nice to be opening for the hips in a few different ways. Just really sink into the shape, settle the gaze, soften the shoulders. And can you let go of movement right now and receive stillness. Let go of movement, receive stillness. Now take one more breath and take your palms all the way forward. And we're just going to step the right foot back so that it lines up with the left. Walk your hands a bit forward and then gently lower all the way down to the mat, coming onto the belly. We'll take an inhale, lift the heart up. And then exhale back down. And then shift through a tabletop. Come all the way up to your down dog. Step the feet in. Stay for a few breaths. And then bend the knees, gaze forward, step the feet up to meet the hands. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Take your exhale, fold. And then take your inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And then gather the palms at the heart center. Closing the eyes or settling the gaze and just taking some deep breaths in and out. And then let's do the opposite side. So we're going to inhale, lift our arms all the way up. And then just exhale, fold the body forward. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Take your exhale, lower, and then take a big step back with your right foot and find yourself in your low lunge on the opposite side. You can rock forward and back. Eventually landing the right knee. Lifting the arms up, finding yourself in stillness, settling your gaze forward.
Let's take one more breath. And then come all the way forward with two palms. And then step your left foot back. And then again, do the same thing. So lowering all the way down. And then this time, we're going to land our palms onto the mat, fingertips pointing down, elbows pointing up, and just flow with our breath. So you'll make it a really fluid movement. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, lowering. Just taking three more. Two more. And then a last one. And then plant your palms, lift all the way up through a tabletop, and then shift all the way back to your child's pose resting your forehead. So we're letting go of movement, receiving stillness, letting go of effort, receiving ease. Letting the mind find the middle, the body find the moment. And then just gently roll all the way up to seated. Coming into this shape, sitting on your heels. And so we're going to do a little bit of gentle hip opening today. So we're going to start to transition into our more yin style shapes. So let's shift all the way forward, grab a hold of your yoga strap, and just bring your body to recline all the way down onto the earth. And what you can do is just leave your left knee bent right now, unravel your strap, and we're going to hook this strap around the right sole of foot and just extend through the right leg. So the pose that we're doing right now is called Supta Pada Gustasana. Supta Pada Gustasana. Supta is reclined. Pada is foot. Gust to hasta hand. And then asana means pose. Supta Pada Gustasana. And this is one of the best opportunities for people with tight hamstrings to really access those back of the leg muscles because our whole back is supported by the earth right now, right? So we are in anatomical neutral. We're not giving any strain to the back. So we're really just releasing and being supported as we do so. You might extend your left leg. And just see how that feels and notice what's going on with you today. Are there parts of your body that feel more tense? Just notice what's happening and if there's any areas that feel tense, just breathe into them.
Let's take about five more breaths where we are. And then just take your strap into your right palm. And now what we're going to do is open our right leg to the right and use the left palm as an anchor onto the left hip. So the theme, the theme of letting go, I think sometimes it seems a bit overdone in the yoga world, like everyone is always talking about letting go. The reason why it's talked about so much is because it's so hard. Right? If it were that easy for us to let go, then we would do it every day. Right? We would walk away from that job, that relationship, that home, that friendship, that object, that dynamic, that country, that situation. Right? If letting go was easy, then we would be doing it all the time. We wouldn't need to talk about it. We would just get it done. Let's take our right leg all the way up and then just switch the strap into the left palm and then take your foot all the way towards the side. And if you're like me, I'm going to need to shimmy a little bit away from the wall so that my foot can go all the way over. And then just open your right arm to the side. So the reality is, and we all know it, that letting go is tremendously hard. And it's a lifelong process. It's a lifelong practice. Take a few more breaths exactly as you are. And then we're going to lift the leg all the way up and release the strap and then just extend the right leg along side the left and just experience the release from letting go of that posture. What do you receive from letting go? Now let's go the opposite way. So we're going to take our left leg all the way up and place the strap around the left foot, lengthen through the left leg, just breathe into the left hamstring. So one of the dynamics in my life growing up was that I found it was really hard to let go of stuff. I was always collecting toys, jobs, pictures, movie tickets, 
my room as a child was just packed full of stuff because everything had meaning and everything felt important and I just couldn't let it go. Just take about three more breaths exactly as we are. And then take your foot all the way over to the left, taking your strap into your left hand and using your right palm as an anchor on the side of the right hip. So all through my life, I was moving from, you know, I went away to university. I moved houses, I think, four times when I was in university. And every time my room was just packed full of stuff and I would just bring it all to the next house. And the largest experience in my life that I had letting go was when I was 23 and I moved across the world to Kuwait from Canada and I could only bring what fit in two suitcases. So I had to go through all my stuff and decide what was most important. And what I realized when I got to this brand new apartment was that it was the first time in my life that I had so much space, so much cleanliness, so much clarity. Take our left leg all the way up, and then we're going to place the strap into the right palm and pull it all the way over and come into a twist. Gaze over the left shoulder. I think sometimes we're so afraid of letting go because we don't know what's going to come from it. But what we can receive from letting go can be beautiful if we open our minds to it. Let's take our left leg all the way up and now we're just going to release our left foot and come all the way into our final resting pose. Your palms can be face up. Your head can be resting heavy and just take some deep breaths in and out. I'm going to bring you back in a moment when the time is up. May the long time sun shine down on you always surround you and the pure light within you Guide your way home. Guide your way home. 
guide your way home. Let's give your fingers and toes a little wake up wiggle. Nice sweet stretch from your toes all the way to your fingers. Big long stretch through your body. And then you can bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a sweet little hug. Come all the way up into a seated shape. We'll place the palms together. Wrap the fingers around, just releasing your index finger and thumb. And then point this mudra down towards the earth, letting go of... Anything that no longer serves you. I release. And then bring the palms onto the knees, face up, and receive some good energy from that process of letting go. And then let's gather that good energy up into the palms of our hands. Closing with our intention. The ancient intention, the original intention. Passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remains steady and our efforts continuous. Our yoga helps and heals and serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe, may they be happy, may they be healthy, may they be free. May the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So let's just finish with an ohm sound. We're going to breathe in and breathe out and breathe in to make an ohm. So take a big breath in, big breath out, big breath in. Thank you so much, yogis. Thank you for being here, joining me for this practice. I'm very grateful for your presence. Light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you, thank you.